All right, you guys, well, welcome to the second installment of Firearm Fridays here on Deer Meat for Dinner. I'm Robert, and this is my wife, Sarah, and we decided that we needed to show you what we shoot, what our guns are. And uh, this is basically it. If you break into our house, you're gonna meet this. This is my Citadel uh, 1911 45 ACP. It's always locked, cocked, ready to rock. So if you don't knock, you're gonna hear bang. Um, and I just wanted to get that out of the way right up front. Mm -hmm. We do believe in the second amendment around here. We believe in protecting your house, protecting your family. And we wanna thank each and every one of our service men and women out there who work daily to fight for our freedoms and liberties as citizens of the United States of America. We salute you. We own and use these guns because what you've worked for. Now let's get to it. This was a gift by a dear, dear friend of mine that I haven't seen in many years now. His name is Bill Gaither. This is a 1953 Beretta over and under 20 gauge. I shoot this thing. It's double trigger, love it. It will kick the snot out of you, <laughs> but it shoots very, very nice. And then this is my go-to shotgun. This is a uh, Escort Extreme Magnum. It's got the 0 0.711 reduction, extra full choke, works great with anything from kite load, down dub load. It'll reach out and touch them. Um, all of our guns, I have got to grip cheek pads and finger grips. I love this gun, very, very fast, and gets the job done. So whether I'm dove hunting, turkey hunting, um, hunting coyotes, that 12 gauge right there, knocks them down. And this is my Howa 7mm 08. My wife, she shoots a, a 7mm 08 as well, so, and we both use the, um, this is Hornady Superformance 139 grain SSTs. And I want to make this up front and clear right now. Zero. None of these companies are paying us. This is just gear that we trust and use. This has a Burris 4.5 by 14 uh, drop time. Really, really nice. And this is the mountain rifle. Anytime I'm in high elevations, I've got to walk a long ways, climb mountains. You carry a gun a lot more than you shoot it. And this thing only weighs 5.6 pounds. So, uh... That's my that's my gun whenever I've got to walk a long ways. It's good for women too. Yeah, it's a, it's a great gun. I love low you. recoil, low recoil. Um, this is a Citadel. Actually, this is made by um, Chiapa Arms. It's a M1, fires nine millimeter rounds, semi-automatic. Comes with magazine. Yeah, it's got a 10 round magazine. I use this anytime I'm trailing a wounded deer, uh, it sits next to my bed at night, and it's always ready for action. Zero recoil, zero. Zero recoil, shoots fast, very funny. You can throw it up <laughs> and uh, let him have it. Then moving on down the line, this is, I've actually got two of them here. People ask me all the time what my favorite round is. Anywhere in the Southeast, my favorite round, good old, 243. You just cannot beat a 243. Love it. Again, I shoot the 95 grain Hornady Superformance SSTs. Gets the job done. Now, if I'm going on a hunt that truly means something to me, that I <laughs> is a very, very important hunt where I might shoot anywhere from 50 yards to 650, 700, it's old Betsy. <laughs> this is uh, this is my Howa 7mm Remington Magnum. It's got the fluted barrel. I love the gun. Yeah, it's got a Burris full field E1, 4.5 by 14 on it. It's a floating reticle. I've had a lot of fun with this gun. Killed Ex that. Explain yeah. this. Well, this is just a little Hornady knob. It's bigger, so it, it I just like it. It's a little little thing you can get from one of these websites. It's an add-on. Yeah. That's why, that's the only gun with it, in case you're wondering. Love it. Now, and then we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. This is a Ruger M77 Ultralight with a Leopold 3x9 on it. 
Uh, I just got this gun back. This gun, I've had this gun personally for 31 years. The barrel was so rusted and beat up. The stock was destroyed. And um, I decided now that my dad has all the grandkids, my mom and dad up at the farm in Georgia, I had the gun completely redone, had the barrel reworked, had the barrel Cerakoted, put the original three and a half, or three by nine Leopold that he had on it. And now this gun is just as tight as ever. I personally, I guarantee you I've killed 20 or 30 deer with this gun. And I was just out sighting it in the other day and forgot. I was just gonna say, you don't have a cap on that. Forgot to put on one of the caps, which is crazy. But if you guys are looking to get a youngster a rifle that they can really, really grow with, 243 is a great round. You, it's the ammo you can find anywhere. It has all the knockdown power in the world. Antelope, deer, hogs, coyotes, you name it. 243 is a great round. And then you guys have seen me take a nice uh, white tail with this. This is my CVA Optima with a Burris Eliminator. The Eliminator is a laser range finding, bullet drop compensating scope. I know that sounds scientific and sci-fi, but uh, it works really, really well. Basically, it's calibrated to this bullet, so whenever I press this button right here on the side, it's automatically gonna range what my target is, drop the crosshairs, which is a little red illuminated dot, and all I've gotta do is focus on staying down, following through, just focus on my mechanics. That's good to go. And that's uh, this right here is a got a grip pack that keeps all of my reloads and whatnot in it. Very few of you have probably ever even heard of got a grip, but got a grip makes fantastic uh, rifle, shotgun, and pistol accessories. You can check them out at gotagrip.com. And then Sarah wants to show you what she's got. Okay, my turn. <laughs> okay, this was the first shotgun I ever bought for myself. It's a Benelli Nova pump, um, which now I am choosing my Escort over it. But it's the first shotgun I bought myself, so it is special to me, even though I don't really shoot it much anymore. This one is my 20 gauge Escort shotgun, but it fits me much better so that if Teals are flying in and I gotta move quick. It doesn't slide off my shoulder. And it, recoil is fantastic. There's like absolutely barely any recoil. This is my 7mm 08 Howell rifle. Great gun. I have shot a few deer with it now. Deer, hogs. Yeah, hog. Yeah, it's a great gun. It's a, a very versatile. And like Rob said, this is my Burris Limiter. This is my Burris Eliminator scope where it compensates for the bullet, the drop, and I personally really like it. Y'all can say it's cheating, but it's just convenient and it's easier than having a rangefinder with you. So Exactly. Um, and this is the Muddy Girl camel pattern with my Gotta Grip cheek pad. Yeah, and the reason we chose this cheek pad is anytime you're shooting a, a rifle, you want to have a solid cheek weld. Well, the stock was a little low, so this cheek pad raises your cheek, and then with the recoil of the gun, it's absorbed, so you, it's very, very comfortable to shoot. And in regards to the Burris Eliminator, a lot of people say, oh, that's cheating. No, no, it's not. I mean, you've got to go out, sight it in, calibrate it to your gun, and then when you're in the field, if you, like one day we were both together, she shot a buck, handed me the gun, and I shot a buck. Hers was at 175 yards, mine was at 540 yards. The same gun. Same gun, minutes apart. You, it makes you focus on your mechanics, it makes you concentrate on what you're doing, and it's also ethical and responsible for the game. I believe in killing a deer quietly. You want that deer to go and have no idea what happens? The reason I did this video today is I want to ask you, what do you want to see? Sighting in rifles, patterning a shotgun, hunting videos. This channel is about you guys. What can we tell you? What do you want to see? 
And uh, if you read through the comments, if you see something that you really like, click like on it. And then when we see comments that have a lot of likes, we know, hey, that's something that people want to see. And we're going to do our best to show you. If you disagree with something that we're saying, hey, as long as you're cool and respectful, I love conversation. I've been wrong before. Last week we did the video on how to break in a rifle. Well, I've always been 100% sold on going through the break-in process. A lot of you guys are probably very, very smart and kind of persuaded me that it's not exactly as necessary as I thought. So kudos to you guys. You're never too old to learn. When dealing with guns, always safety, 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 because once that firearm is, is shot, you can never take that bullet back. And it's a lot easier to um, get into an accident than to get out of an accident. So be safe. I urge you all, get your hunter, your hunter safety card, join the NRA, be active in the world of shooting. It's a lot of fun. And uh, we thank you all so very much for being a part of our lives and a part of our channel. We gone. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We out.